As temperatures continue to climb in downtown Baltimore, crime is seeing a similar rise. We're still more than a month out from the start of summer, but only two weeks into May, and we've seen a robbery and an assault, both involving juveniles. And tonight, Fox 45 is pressing Baltimore's top cop on what strategies BPD will use to curb crime this summer. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Vincent Hill. And I'm Maxine Stryker. Earlier this week, I caught up with Baltimore City Police Commissioner Richard Worley to talk about police's summer crime plan and some of the issues they could face as the weather heats up. At an East Baltimore Crime Walk Tuesday, a candid conversation with Baltimore Police Commissioner Richard Worley as we head into summer and juvenile crime is seemingly heating up downtown. Are you concerned at all about juvenile crime, specifically in the downtown Inner Harbor area? We've seen a few incidents there lately. Um, I'm always concerned about the, uh, the juvenile crime because that's the one area that we really haven't done as well as we, we want to. Last weekend, outside the Baltimore Marriott Waterfront Hotel, a robbery involving juveniles. 700 hours down at the Marriott Hotel, and reference to the mail said that three juveniles just robbed him. The week prior, our cameras captured four juveniles being arrested downtown for assault and robbery. Hours earlier, police say a group of close to 20 juveniles robbed a couple after they left a pub near Camden Yards. And just last month, a 17-year-old was shot and killed outside the Inner Harbor's Renaissance Hotel. But I think we, with all the partners, the federal, state, and local partners, we'll get that conquered too. Because last year we were we were escalating um, homicides and shootings with young people, and then when the mayor's office put together the plan to keep them busy all summer, and the same plan is being put together again. Basically, if you keep the young people busy and occupied. Most of them are going to find something to do. The mayor's office tells Fox 45 their summer crime strategy will include a heightened focus on street level curfew outreach starting Memorial Day weekend. But last year, there was trouble staffing the curfew centers, and kids were given the option to go. At the end of the summer, we learned not one child had agreed to be transported to a center. The curfew is not effective, and I think that was proven to be true last summer when the mayor's plan relied on enforcing the curfew, but there really wasn't a lot of curfew enfor enforcement going on, and what little enforcement there was um, didn't result in, you know, juveniles choosing to be taken to after hours community centers. Another issue persisting for police, staffing shortages, BPD over 500 officers short. That's such a staggering number, though. I mean, how, how do you recruit people to want to come and work in Baltimore? Um, I think what we have to do is sell the city. They were, we, Commissioner Harrison was selling it as being part of the greatest comeback story in America, and, and I think we're, we're proving it because one of the few agencies that have been able to um, basically lower crime and reform at the police department at the same time. And while homicides and shootings are on the decline, I'm still grieving. low staffing is impacting Baltimore residents. This man begging city leaders Tuesday for answers after losing his child just days ago to senseless violence. Y'all need to find a way to hire more police. I done been through the criminal justice system yes, sir. all my life. Yes, sir. But y'all need to find a way to recruit these officers, man, to come in the city. We need Stop more, letting them go in the look, counties. We need more than in the, the city. Police union president Mike Mancuso blames low staffing on low pay. He claims BPD's officers earn 20 to 30 percent less than those in surrounding counties. Worley says they're doing what they can and have a plan in place for the summer. Every officer who is not in patrol has to pick one shift a month to work. But former Deputy Commissioner Jason Johnson says it's going to take more than that. There's no indication at all that I see that BPD has started to turn the corner. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.